So Logitech sent me this headset and I was so excited to finally start going wireless. After trying them out and listening to the 7.1 surround in them, I got even more excited. Only to find out that I won't be able to use them in my streams. If you're a competitive gamer or a casual gamer or even a streamer just using one PC, don't worry. You don't have to even watch this video. You just set everything up the way you do with any other sound source. But uh, if you use a Go XLR, it's going to cause a little problem where you have to use the listen to device function to get the sound to get routed through your Go XLR. If you use a streaming PC, you have the same problem. If you use a Go XLR and a streaming PC, you have a bigger problem where you need to route the sound twice. How are you exactly supposed to do that when you already have to use your listen to device function in Windows to send that sound over to the streaming PC? You can, no worry. And I'm gonna show how right now. So the first method is simple. You don't have to install any third-party software or anything at all for that matter. Go to your sound icon down to the right in your taskbar. You click up volume mixer and you go to system sounds and you go to playback. You gotta use your sample as your default device. You normally use the system, but for this method, you need the sample as a default device. And then you go down to the broadcast remix. You use listen to the device to your capture card to the other PC like you normally would. And then you go to the sample over here and then you put listen to the device and choose your wireless headset. That's it. You're good to go. However, this method kind of cuts out your Go XLR function. So you can't use anything like, uh, you know, if you use the big version, you want to use a sampler like this. That's not supposed to happen. I'm, I'll take care of that later. Where was I? Um, right. So the second method involves downloading a third-party software called Voice Meter. I'll leave a link in the description for that below. And you install it, start it up, and you get two hardware inputs here, A1 and A2. All right, they're good to go. Put the first one on your system for your Go XLR. You put the second one for your capture card and the other PC. Then you go into the volume mixer again, go to system sounds, recording, go all the way down to Voice Meter output, choose listen to device, and go to your wireless headset. And there you go. You can now use your Go XLR and your wireless headset and your stream will be able to hear it. However, the only thing that won't work is if you have Spotify routed to one of the sound channels on the Go XLR, you're gonna hear a double sound. So you're gonna have to use just one sound source for everything, which is also sad. All right, did you get it working? Great. You now have sound through all of your devices and you're ready to go live. Congratulations. Before you go though, I have some bad news for you. There's a slight catch to using any of these methods and there's no way around it unless you buy a headset with a docking station attached to the USB receiver. What that docking station needs to have is a line in and a line out. And you can connect that line in and line out to your Go XLR and then there will be no delay whatsoever and you just mirror all of that as one connection over to your streaming PC where the delay doesn't matter. Okay, I think this is the best way to show you what kind of delay I'm talking about. I could have just recorded two audio settings and put them next to each other, but it doesn't actually show it as much as this does. So here are my wired headphones connected to straight to the Go XLR. Perfect sync. And here are the wireless headset with the mirror. All right, so let's put them up next to each other. So as we just saw, that delay is very small and it won't matter to most of you. To you, I say, happy to help if you didn't know how to set this up. Do me a favor and hit that like button for the algorithm. But for people who are like me, you're going to agree with me that any kind of delay is unacceptable regardless of where it is. For God's sake, even bad ping bothers people like us. To those of you who don't understand what I'm talking about, let me explain. All right. Let's say you're playing Warzone solos. You're on 50 ping already. Not the best, right? But it's doable. Let's say you have that delay in your ear. Somebody's camping around a corner. He gets up, he starts charging you. Your first initial reaction is through sound. That first initial reaction through sound is going to be delayed, let's say, by 50 milliseconds. If you add that on top of to the ping by 50 milliseconds and the opponent is on 20, you get a 70 millisecond disadvantage against your opponent. And I just won't have it. And that's the only reason that I still go wired when I stream. If you're like that and you still need to go wireless, I suggest getting one of those that has a station attached to it with a line in and a line out. That'll be all. Thank you Logitech for sending me this headset. I absolutely love it. And it's a real bummer that I can't use it for my Warzone content. I do, however, use it for my uh, food breaks. 
I take it out, I plug the blue mic in here, bring it out in the kitchen, and I watch the chat on my phone, and I talk to them as I eat. For personal use, I always use them, because when you're not streaming or you don't have to mirror the sound, they're amazing. No delay, no nothing. Let's take a quick little look what this headset has to offer. So it's connected through the G Hub along with your other Logitech devices. Uh, here are some equalizer settings for those of you who game with this headset. If you want to try some of these out, I made all of these for different sorts of footstep recognition. And uh, yeah, try these out. Just copy them, pause the video. Maybe you'll like one of them. If not, you can make your own. You can just use the flat EQ. And this is what I love most about this headset, the surround sound. For those of you who watched my footstep video in Warzone when trying to figure out what software was the best one, I went with DTS. It was hands down for me the best software. And it's included the V2.0 with these. Absolutely love this. For those of you who watched that video and still want to know what the best settings for surround sound in gaming is, I would go with gaming and traditional. Most people would say wide, but I don't personally like the wide settings in most of these softwares because it makes footsteps sound like they're closer than they actually are. So traditional and gaming, that's the way to go for it. Microphone. What I forgot was to enable the blue voice here. It's, that's what you want to do. That's what where you get the real use of that blue microphone. You can use different kinds of preset filters here, or you can make your own. Also, here's the voice EQ over here. I like to run it like this because it suits my voice the best, but I guess it depends on what kind of voice you have. These settings I didn't fiddle with too much. I mainly went with a de -er and I went to that max because uh, headset microphones tend to take up a lot of S noise noises and stuff, and that's what the de -er does. It kind of reduces smacking. As I said earlier, I use this for eating mostly during my streams, so de -er is a great function for that. So I haven't really played much with these settings. They, they were fine like they were. And when it comes to battery life, I'd say they last for about two to three streams if you stream eight hour streams. That's all I have for you in this video. I upload the occasional game from Twitch every now and then, but I try to fit in one or two videos like this whenever a company sends me a product or when I get a product that I want to show you guys or I get some sort of idea. I'll be uploading a video about another thing Logitech sent me, this mouse that I paired with a LG G Venus mouse pad and I'm going to compare that to my old setup and show you the difference. So if you want to see that video, hit that subscribe button. If not, take care. It was good to meet you. And I'll see you next time. Hopefully on Twitch. Follow Twitch.